Right, good afternoon everybody. What a fantastic day it is today. Look at that gorgeous scenery. Sun was shining, it's just behind a cloud at the moment, but it's gonna be out soon. I am in such a great mood today. Uh, I've been doing overtime at work. I was gonna finish at one o'clock, got to 10 o'clock, and I thought, you know what? I wanna be out on the field, so here I am. Um, just me today, Marie's at work, unfortunately. Uh, I need to get back home about 4.30. It's just gone 12, so I've got a few hours. Uh, I'm on the day as two. And then I think we'll be going out on Monday, uh, bank holiday Monday. Marie wants to try out her new dais, so we'll either come back here or possibly our new permission. We've got another new permission, so we've actually got three permissions now. Um, it's a funny little story, I'll just tell you quickly. So I turned up at work the other morning uh, and there was a dog running around and nobody could get hold of it. And it obviously smelt my dogs on me because it came running over to me and I was stroking it, making a fuss. And um, yeah, nobody knew whose dog was. So I said, well, let me pop it in the back of my car because I want to get it run over. So I popped it in the car and somebody said, oh, there's a farm just down the road. So went for a little drive. Um, there was a guy standing outside the front. It was the farmer. Um, and he said, you haven't seen a lost dog, have you? And I said, well, yeah, I do actually. It's in the back seat. So, uh, so I opened the door, ran straight to him. So I knew it was his. And uh, I completely forgot to ask at the time. Everybody said to me, oh, did you ask about metal detecting? And I was like... No, I didn't actually, because I was in such a rush to get back to work. But I popped down after work and uh, just said, oh, do you remember me? I dropped the dog off this morning. He was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I said, um, I'll do a bit of metal detecting. Any any chance you got got any land I might be able to do some detecting on? And he's like, yeah, I've got loads. got loads of fields, you know, help yourself kind of thing. So I'm going to head there on Monday, I think, with Marie and a new dais. Uh, so hopefully, fingers crossed, we might find some good finds there. So stay tuned for that video. And then one week today, we're going to be back down in Cambridgeshire on the Field of Dreams. I can't wait. Um, I'm so excited to go back down there. We're there for three full days, so hopefully that'll be the next three episodes. If we don't find a lot, I'll probably amalgamate them into one. Uh, and then the week after that, we've got Detectable. So I might squeeze Detectable episode in just after we get back from Detectable, just to make it kind of time relevant. But yeah, really excited. The next sort of six or seven episodes should be good ones, hopefully. So right, without further ado, let's get going and we'll see you on the first target. Okay, here's first target. I did get rather excited. It's very thin. That's what I saw when I picked it up. But when I turned it over, see the broken shank there? It's a button. I did think we might have a little hammered coin for a second. Look how thin that is. Right, let's carry on. Okay, we've got a solid 82 here. It's somewhere in the wall. So let's have a little live reveal. It's a button. Broken shank. Not found much for a while, so I thought I'd do a little live reveal. And let's carry on. Okay, this next one sounds sweet. Sounds quite close to the surface. Solid 88. See what we got. I reckon it's right by the surface, so let's try with the point pointer first. Ah, I thought we had a coin for a second then, but it's some sort of washery type thing. Not what we wanted, never mind. On to the next. I think we've got our first coin, unless it's another button. Just in the side wall. I'm pretty sure this is a coin, but I'm also pretty sure that is toasted. Ah, that's Queen Victoria. Can you see that? Early Queen Victoria. Very, very, very smooth. I've actually got a couple of these very smooth Queen Victorias. 
I might be able to make the data on that. 18... One sec. 1860. Yeah, you can see that. It focuses. There you go. 1860. Nice. Right, first coin of the day. And we're in a new field. Uh, we've come across from the last one. This one's much bigger, as you can see. Absolutely stunning weather today. Really, really gorgeous. Right, let's carry on. We've got about two and a half hours left. Okay, next one up's this little bit of lead. Can't decide whether it's a faded bag seal or a, some sort of token. It's something though. Right, let's carry on. Next one up. Another button. Seems to be having a bit of a button day today. I don't mind that at all, as long as we're finding stuff. All right, let's carry on. They must have loved playing with their knives up in Cumbria. I think we've got another pen knife. This one looks a little bit more modern than the one we found the other day. I think that's what that is. Let's try and give it a quick clean. Okay, I couldn't clean it up very well. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty certain that is a pen knife. Pretty rusted though, I don't think we'll get the blade out like the other one. I think it's that side. Uh, but that's pretty cool. Uh, I'll probably show the farmer that later. See if he remembers or his dad remembers whose it was. Right, let's carry on. Okay, here's the next one. Um, looks like a piece of pewter. End of a spoon, maybe? Who knows? Right, on to the next. Okay, I think we have a silver coin. I can see a milled edge. It looks silver. It looks a bit small to be a 10p, so let's hope for... Something good. There's definitely detail. Oh, it's a Victoria. Oh, wow. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, wow. It's a shilling. Fabulous. Oh, that is stunning. Look at that. All right, let's give that a bit of a better clean. I mean, not that I need to, really, but let's give that a clean. Oh, that looks like the day it was dropped. 1874. Look at that. That is gorgeous. I don't find too many shillings. I don't find too many silver milled coins. But that is beautiful. I love that. I love finding these sort of coins. That's awesome. Right, on to the next. excited for a second I remember when I used to find objects this kind of size and shape and color uh, unfortunately it's a button never mind right we're gonna do one more sweep up and down the field and then I think we're gonna head off because it's about half past three now so see you on the next one right, there's the next one little four hole button on to the next okay here's the next one I haven't got the foggiest what this is it's interesting, but no idea. Let us know in the comments if you've got any ideas. All right, back where we started four hours ago. What a fantastic day. I mean, not just finds wise, look at this scenery. It's so clear, look at the sky, it's so blue, it's so warm. Look at me, I'm so happy. This has just been a brilliant, brilliant day for me. I mean, I've forgotten all about the work I did this morning. Uh, I wish I hadn't done overtime. I wish I'd just come straight out, if I'm honest. Um, but what a day. I mean, we, we found some really good stuff as well. Uh, lots of buttons and bits and pieces and a silver shilling. That's fantastic. Um, I mean, last three trips that the Deus 2 has been out, it's found three bits of silver. I mean, yeah, okay, Marie's winning 2-1, but no one's counting. Oh, I mean, she is, but we'll, we'll catch up and extend. So uh, we're going out on Monday. Bank holiday Monday, Marie wants to go out detecting, so I think we're going to hit the new permission near where I work. I told you about that earlier. Um, and then one day after work next week, either Tuesday or Wednesday, Marie wants to come out again, so probably come back here. So she probably will extend her lead. We all know how jammy she is. Uh, I know she wants to try out her new dais, so we'll get her set up with that, and she'll probably end up finding half the silver on the field. As long as I find the other half, I don't mind. Um, and then next Thursday, I'm driving down to Cambridgeshire for three full days on the Field of Dreams. So that's Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then Monday morning. Hopefully I'll get a few hours in and then come back up. And then the 
following Friday, we're going down to Detectable, we're going camping down there. Uh, that's in Cambridgeshire as well. Kind of annoying that we moved all the way up here and then they held Detectable about 20 minutes from where I used to live, but there we go. Right, um, yep, so not much else to say. Let's get on to the roundup. Okay, welcome to the roundup. It's a bit unorthodox. I'm using my hoodie. Uh, on the grass because there's no space in my boot and I can't be bothered to do this when I get home. So, all right, let's start. We've got five buttons, four hole button, and an assortment of other buttons. No shanks on any of them, unfortunately, but they're not too bad. Uh, this, I didn't film this. I think it's lead, but I also think it is something. It's really solid, really heavy. I'm going to clean it up when I get home. No idea what it is. I think it probably is scrap in the end, but it could be something. So we'll check that out when we get back. Um, this little lead thing. It's either a token or an old bag seal. Don't think there's any detail on it, but again, we'll clean it when we get home. Have a little look. Found this really nice bit of pottery. It's part of a plate, probably. I don't think it's very old, but I still thought it was quite nice. Um, this little pewter thing. Probably the end of a handle of something. A pen knife. That's the second pen knife in a row with a Deus 2. So that's rather interesting. Well, this little thing we found late on. Again, I have no clue what it is, so let me know in the description if you have any idea. That bit on the end is fairly solid. I think that it's not just crust, it's not going to come off. I mean, it might be rust, but I don't know. So, yeah, it's kind of interesting. And then we got this Queen Victoria. Just about see her there. Half penny. You can just about see Britannia on the back, but very faint. And then this absolute beauty. Look at that. Look at the condition of that. I think I might have dinged it slightly. Uh, on the bottom left hand side where it says Victoria between the uh, the R and the I. I think it might have dinged it slightly there but that is fantastic though. That is going to shine when I clean it up. So yeah, well happy with that. Right, whoop. so that's me finds and uh, yeah, we'll see you on the next episode guys. Bye for now.